Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and today we're going to be talking about my AquaQuest King Camo Tarp. Uh, this wasn't the easiest video to make, but I'm in the woods, and I want to show you guys how I set this tarp up, so stay tuned. All right guys, so I picked two trees. We're gonna do this big one. So we got this big one and this big one, but always make sure to look up. You know, you don't want any widow makers. You don't want anything that's gonna fall on top of you. You don't want nests or anything, cause you don't want bird debris or anything coming down on top of you. And so today we're gonna be focusing on these two trees and I'm gonna set up that tarp. So stay tuned and uh, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna get in front of the camera and we'll go from there. All right, so this tarp is a uh, King Camo uh, AquaQuest tarp, so it's big and it's heavy, so I'm not worried about weight. I have a Jax Are Better tarp that I use if I want to save on pounds, but for this one, I'm not worried about weight. You know, I just want it to be rugged and tough, and so I'm using standard 550 cord. I got a Nidehuis figure nine carabiner, and I got tarp clips here that I probably won't need, but I got them just in case. And then I have two carabiners that I plan to switch out for either black or camouflage, whichever I can find. But for right now I have red, so that's what I'm gonna use. And this is just for the ridge line. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the cordage off the figure nine, and I'm gonna put that in my pocket and just work with the cordage. Now with this cordage, I'm gonna, I have a fixed loop on the one end that I just did a bowline knot with and I'll do a separate video on my favorite knots. There's only like two or three of them, but I'll do a video on that separate. So I got a fixed loop on one end and then it's just cordage. So let's come over to the tree. Okay, so now that we're at the tree, I'm gonna unwind big chunk of this and I'm gonna take my loop and I'm gonna find a piece of bark or something to put it on okay so it's just dangling here on this piece of bark and then I'm gonna walk around and find my loop again all right so then I can grab my tag end and run it through that loop and run all my cordage through as long as I'm not getting tangled in it. And then bam, I'm hooked up to the one end. No fancy knots, no fancy tricks, it's just a simple loop and running your line through it. Okay, so let's go over to the other side. All right, so I don't think I'm gonna have enough I don't have enough cordage to wrap around these big trees. That's not a problem because what I'll do is I'll grab, so the cordage that I was gonna use for the guy outs, and I will take a arm span worth And uh, I'll connect those together. It'll just be a little extension. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend my black ridge line with some of my guy out cordage. So I'm just gonna put a bend. See, it's open. Just putting a bend in the black cordage. I'm gonna take the tail end, I'm gonna go through the loop, around the black loop, okay? So I went around the black loop and then I'm gonna tuck it right underneath that cordage there. And then that's gonna I should have made a bigger bite on that. So what that's gonna do, 
because it's going to extend, it's going to connect them together and extend my ridge line. Because I'm using such humongous trees, right? And now I got plenty of cordage. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you guys situated here. So then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a loop, right? So I'm just twisting it into a loop and then I'm going to grab the opposite end here. All right, so I'm going to make a loop and then I'm going to grab, oh, this is hard to do on camera, guys. They always talk about how hard it is to do on camera and then I have to do it. <laughs> And then you really realize how hard it is. Okay, so then that is going to come this way. So now I have a loop that won't go nowhere. Now I can put my working end through that loop and make a trucker's hitch, right? And then I can tie this off. But for today, I'm gonna take my figure nine because the figure nine, if you're really good at doing a trucker's truck line hitch, you can get it pretty tight. But with this figure nine, you can get it like guitar string tight. So you just crank that baby over. Am I in frame still? You just crank that baby over and then you lock it. Then you lock it down. Now you have a guitar string tight ridge line and then I double it over one more time so that I know that it's secure. And then you can do a quick release on it as well. But now I have a very tight ridge line. All right, you're gonna have to excuse the camera quality and stuff. I'm still learning, and this is the hardest video I've ever shot, but I got the tarp out. And so what I'm gonna do is actually first, before I do that, I have some lash it here. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a prusik on the ridge line. All right, so let me find the end here. So I'm gonna make a Prusik, two Prusik knots. Birds are singing, okay? And what I do is I just find the end, I wrap it around my hand, and then that's about how big I want my loop, okay? And then I'll make it a little bit bigger to cut it. And then again, melt the end so that it doesn't fray as easy. So I got one. Then I'm just gonna put an overhand knot in it. Nothing fancy. Okay, so I got a loop. Wrap it around my hand. Make it a little bit bigger. This is the problem with having so many pockets is you forget which pocket you put everything in. So 
why a lot of people they like to carry bucket style backpacks or like a a basket because you can't forget which pocket you put it in if you only have one pocket. All right, so now I'm done with my lash hit. And this is just super thin, super strong uh, cordage. So I like it a lot. It's really lightweight. This is actually what the uh, ridge line, well, the ridge line on my uh, other tarp, my Jacks are Butter tarp, is made out of zingit, which is pretty much the same thing, but it's yellow. And uh, my ridge line on my hammock is made out of this. Because it is light and it's easy to use. All right, so let's put an overhand knot in here. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it on the ridge line. All right, so what I'm doing is, is I'm gonna take this, wrap it around my cordage here. I don't know how well this is focused. And I'm just putting the knot through the loop, okay? And then I'm gonna take the knot, put it through the loop again, making sure that everything stays nice and pretty looking. And then I'm gonna take the knot, and put it through the loop again, three times. Three times is the charm. Make sure that everything lays down nice and even looking. Okay, so then that gives me a loop. There we go. So that's what you want it to look like. And then that's gonna give me a loop that I can I can move the knot up and down the ridge line, but when there's weight on here, it can't move. Right? So uh, when I'm pulling on this, it won't go nowhere. But I can still run it up and down the ridge line if I move the knot. Okay, so now I'm gonna put one on the other side and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the tarp. Let me check to make sure my batteries are okay. All right, so now I'm gonna come out here. <clears throat> now this is kind of low to where I want it but for the sake of the video, that's where it's gonna stay. So I'm gonna unroll this. Use the wind to my advantage. You wanna work with the wind not against it. Alright, so now I want this over this way. This is where snake skins come in handy. I got snake skins on my other tarp that allow you to only deal with half the tarp at, at a time. All right. So now I got my loop on this side. So I'm going to take a red carabiner, hook it to my loop, and then I'm going to hook it to the Prusik. Okay, and then I can move the knot, but now my tarp isn't going anywhere. Same with this side. I have my loop on the center ridge line. And 
I'm gonna move the knot to make this tight. Take you off the tripod. Let you come look at this. See what I've done. So as you can see, this tarp has tie outs everywhere. But it also has, sorry, let's see if I can get that to, it also has loops around this whole top here. So this is my center line here. <clears throat> and so I got the Prusik set up. So now this won't go anywhere. And I can move these Prusik knots to center this tarp to where I need it. Okay, so let's get you back on the tripod and back in action here. Okay, so I got camouflage paracord here. Imagine that, huh? And uh, so what I'm gonna do is to make my guy outs for my tarp, I usually like them about 10 to 15 feet long. So my arm span is about five feet, we'll say. So that's five, 10, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that good to make sure that I don't run out of cordage. And then I'm gonna use my EDC battle box lighter that I have on me all the time. I'm gonna melt the ends. So now I got one guy out and I'm gonna need four of those. So there's one. This is gonna be two. This is my LT right Genesis. I love this thing. Can't imagine not having it. It's nice having this torch lighter insert too for those that watch my Zippo hack because it's kind of windy. You can probably hear the wind, but it uh, doesn't bother the lighter none because it's a torch lighter. So that's handy. All right, so now we got two. And then you melt these ends because the inner strands of the 550 cord, they'll come loose on you. So you wanna melt them all together. And then also the outer casing of the 550 cord, it'll start to fray and everything. So if you get it nice and melted all together, you don't have to worry about that happening. There's three. And this will be number four. I might have enough cordage to show you guys uh, how to turn this tarp into a shelter. I just brought enough to set it up because I learned a cool method and I want to see if it'll work. All right, so I got four, and then I still have about five, 10, 15 feet. So let's get back to the tarp. 
All right, so here's a trick I learned from William Myers at Manus Outdoors. I got split rings here for keys. And I'm gonna take two, put them in each corner. There's one. To, and I'm going to see if these work better than the carabiners that he was using. So I'm going to do this to all four corners and then I'll get back to you. So it's just got two rings on the corner. Alright guys, so this is ridiculously easy. I'm making a bow line so I'll fix loop the end of my guy out so I just got a fix loop grab my corner I stake out wherever I need to stake out to so right here and then I got those two rings so what I do is take my tag end and I go through both of them and then I come back through the back again but I only go through the bottom one I split them in half okay and then I just simply pull done the uh, the rings I need to get tougher rings but the rings compress it and hold everything tight. How cool is that? I definitely need some stronger split rings though. These cheap little ones aren't gonna cut it. But now that I know that it works, I'm definitely gonna invest in some nice split rings. And this is gonna be the way I set up my tarps from now on. All right, so that's how I set up this tarp. Uh, I like the way it turned out, you know, it's, weight wasn't a concern when dealing with this. It, uh, it's a big, hefty tarp, it's expensive tarp, and so I didn't really skimp out on weight. The weight wasn't an option. I have a lightweight tarp. This is a durable, all-purpose tarp right here. And uh, yeah, I think the only changes that I'm gonna make is the rings, I'm gonna get stronger rings for the corners and other than that maybe darker carabiners for my prusik knots instead of the bright red ones because everything i have is camo so but other than that that's what i have this has been the hardest video i've made so far but i pushed through i made it you guys can see a couple tips and tricks on how i do things and uh so Make sure to leave your knowledge and your questions in that comment section. Make sure to thumbs up and share these videos so that we can share that knowledge to the people we care about most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I hope to do more and more videos like this in the future. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday. And I hope to see you all on the next one. So thanks, guys.